A familiar call to arms. The Taliban once again boasting of significant victories on its various propaganda channels. Clawing back territory from the so-called puppet personnel of Afghanistan's fledgling military. <laughs> Numerous districts have recently fallen to the militants, including in the southern province of Uruzgan, where Australian forces were based for almost a decade. I think it's sad for those who served. I think it's sad for those who lost family members in the fight in Afghanistan. And I think it's sad for the people of Uruzgan to be once again under the yoke of the Taliban. The Taliban claims it's overrun five districts in Uruzgan province in recent weeks. It's feared the final district and capital, Tarankout, will soon be in the hands of the former enemy. Women's position and women rights are at greater risk and greater vulnerability. Australia handed back control of Uruzgan's security to local forces in 2013, with high hopes they could maintain peace. Now, with all remaining foreign troops preparing to leave Afghanistan, the defence minister's reflecting on the legacy of this country's longest military deployment. Directly resulted in a reduction in the number of terrorist attacks that otherwise would have taken place in our country and in other parts uh, of the world. Now, after two decades and 41 Australian lives lost, and with Uruzgan on the brink of Taliban control, the question's again being asked, was it worth it? Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.